Well, if Switzerland wins because of you tonight participating, what do you love to see when your country is hosting what they should reflect on stage for you? Oh, okay, that's a very good question. Hello. Good to be with us. Very happy. Yeah, because... Tired, happy. I'm like, this is my favorite feeling in the world, being a little bit tired, very happy. It all comes together and you're just floating through the room. And we feel it. And we're so proud that you're with us today because you're one of our big heroes to be with us and representing our community in such a brave and beautiful way. Thank you. So what does it mean for you to make this song about yourself, your identity, with, with having in mind the people who are watching and close with our TV to, be, to, to tell this story here at this Eurovision stage? I think it's just a great privilege to be representing Switzerland in uh, in that way as a non-binary person um, to be able to speak up you know like I feel like not a lot of people in this community always have a voice unfortunately like in our society I feel like a lot of people um, don't make enough space for that so I'm, I'm really grateful to be given this opportunity and um, I just want to use it in a in a very positive and in a very um, yeah in a, in a good way. Uh, just talking openly about being non-binary, uh, letting people know about my song, showing up as myself, and letting people uh, at home know that they're perfect the way they are and they don't have to compromise or give in to any expectations that people or society may have um, on them. Beautiful. And, and why did you choose this Eurovision stage? Because it's very much a, a stage where a lot of LGBT people are, especially gay male, yeah. are connected to. Was it for you a, a purpose to be? Is it a dream to be on this stage? Um, it was, it kind of just happened, you know, and I feel like the best things in life, they just sometimes, you can't plan them. It, it just kind of like works itself out in a strange way so like i i've um like being non-binary for me is, it's been a basically a lifelong journey if i look back at it but like openly non-binary i've been uh, in in my close circle like for the last three years and then i i came out publicly only last year so it's 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 um it's been a time where I kind of found a lot of joy in, in being non-binary and a lot of pride also um, because um, I finally like I finally just let myself be myself in the public as well and it just felt like very free and so um, when making music I, I just wanted to write about being non-binary more and more and it found more place in my music because it, it's just um, I think when you feel a lot of joy about something you want to share it with the world and and that was the same the same thing with the code and the song happened at, at a songwriting camp where I thought I was going as a songwriter and um, because I wrote a lot of songs for other artists last year and then I went into the first session and I was like so what are we writing who are we writing for today and Taya looked at me the other songwriter in the room she was like yeah we're I thought we were writing for you and I was like oh okay I did not uh, think about that but okay let's try and I've up until this point I never thought about going to Eurovision like it was not like a dream of mine that I was like since I was 10 years old I want to go to Eurovision it was kind of like it never seemed like an actual possibility because I, I didn't even know how it worked like how can I how can I apply for you <laughs> for your so do we have some examples in Eurovision where you're kind of stars people you admire or have shown you some inspiration i have i think i have like two people that um just had a, a big impact on me as a kid and the first one was uh, lena with the song satellite that was just like a song that really spoke to my to my heart it was such a such a free and like like fun song like and and the energy of that song just really captivated me as a, as a kid and then the second uh, one was uh, Conchita Wurst's per performance of Rise Like a Phoenix like just uh, an incredible moment uh, a really important moment and that was like that was a, a biggest dream of mine that it came true like when Conchita wrote to me on Instagram like uh, 
um, like a month or so ago, hey, I, I love your song, The Code. And I was like, oh my God, what is happening? Like, this can't be real because like, as a kid, like Eurovision felt so far away from me. Like it was just something that happened on TV and now I'm, I'm suddenly, suddenly being a part of it is, is really strange in the best way possible. So saying that, so can you say a little note because Conchita watches us, sing her song maybe for a little bar to show your connection with her? <laughs> oh my God, my voice is not, uh, <laughs> I'll just, I'll do a quick, I'll do a quick hi. Um, Conchita, if you're watching this, I can't wait to meet you, hopefully in Malmö. I bet you'll be there. <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to hang out and to share uh, our love for music and um, hopefully lots of queer joy. And um, I'll see you there. Well, if Switzerland wins because of you to not participating, what do you love to see when your country is hosting what they should reflect on stage for you? Oh, okay. That's a very good question. I think if Switzerland ever wins again, I would want to see like a very, a very exciting and big moment for the Swiss culture scene, for, for musicians in Switzerland. We have so many talented artists we have amazing subgenres subcultures a lot of like different music different people a lot of great queer artists in switzerland and i would want to i would want to see a space for for all those people and um i would hope um that 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 it just kind of like enhances swiss music culture in long term Wow, that's, I think, a beautiful final st sentence. Thank you so much for making time for us. Thank you. We wish you all the best tonight and have a beautiful Eurovision Euro Euro journey. And we really hope that your message is helping our community to even be also as bright as you and shine like a phoenix. Uh -huh. Thank you.